Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Crossin and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today is going to be 20 spring crochet ideas. This um, video is inspired by Amazing Page, so you should check out their videos if you haven't already. But yeah, um, this is just 20. They normally do 50. Um, I couldn't think of 50. So I went on Pinterest. The Pinterest board will be down below of all of the visual pictures of um, like the ideas I'm going to be giving you. So yeah, if you want any visual or anything so that you can actually picture what it is, then go over to my Pinterest board and it will be there. I have put these into four categories. So each category is going to have five um, items. Um, it's completely up to you what you want to do and the first one that I've put is something I really want to do this spring and after I've done some more of my stock from my store which is down below if you do want to check it out I will be doing this top so if any of you have seen the series that is on Prime which is called The Summer I Turn Pretty I think it's by the same person that made um, To All The Boys I Loved Before, I might be wrong, Jenny Han. But yeah, uh, the crochet top that, um, I can't remember her name in the actual um, series, it's been a while since I've watched it, but um, Lola, the person is called Lola, wears this top. And it's like a crochet top, but it kind of looks like a mini cardigan. So it's got buttons in the middle and it's a uh, daisy granny squares with blue around them. And then it's like got the little ribbon and all that. It looks really cool. So that's kind of what I want to make for spring this year. So if you want to make it, that is fine. I'm, I didn't create it, <laughs> so that's fine. Um, the second thing is a... A crop top with wavy sleeves. I wouldn't really say it's sleeves. The sleeves come up to here. Still sleeves so. though. Um, and the colours is peach, pink and white. It's up to you what colours you use. Those That was the inspiration that I saw on Pinterest. Which is why I'm saying it. Number three is a green and pink strawberry crop top. So it's kind of just like a normal crop top but it's got a strawberry in the middle it's got green around it and then pink for the ribbon so pink here pink here and pink at the bottom so i thought it looks quite cute maybe it'll be good for this, um spring i've never really worn anything of crochet before as a top so it will be interesting as to how warm it will be or how cold it will be because when you think of like wool and cotton you think of winter so we shall see this one is a huge project so if you want to do it start it now it's quite a huge one number four is heart big granny square dungarees so you make these huge granny square hearts and i think i can't really remember how many there are but there's quite a few and it's some dungarees which is quite cute you just sew it into a dungarees um kind of like the way that you would with a cardigan you just do the um granny squares separately and then kind of use a um kind of diagram i don't know kind of like a chart a guide to kind of lay it all out i don't know if there are some charts but i'm sure there's some out there or you could buy one um Number five is a granny square mesh string top. It's not really a top, it goes over a top, so it's kind of like a little, kind of like the things you would use if you do ballet, and it's the thing you put over your leotard, so it's like a little top thing, tiny little top thing. It's very cute, it's got a little string that you can tie it up, it's quite adorable. Um, category is number two which is accessories. So number one is a flower hair clip. So you get the little hair clips, you can get them in bulk on Amazon or Sainsbury's, anywhere. And then just make little little triangle, little triangle, little flowers. And then you put a little bead in the middle to make it look like the little pollen bit. 
and you stick it on little clips you put them in your hair quite cute you could give them to children if you want obviously you don't have to be a child to be able to wear colorful stuff in your hair that's not true you can do any age and wear colorful flowers in your hair if you want to um number two is a flower triangular um, bandana so it's like a bandana you put on your head you know it's very cute it's i think it was daisies this is quite a lot of daisies um number three is flower chain hairband so kind of like you know the daisy chains but if you were to crochet it and tie it on your head so it just looks like a little flower chain you know kind of like the ones you can buy in like clairs that don't last that long <laughs> but you can crochet it and it'll probably last longer so yeah uh number four is a flower and bee tote bag so obviously people nowadays people my age people were a little bit younger than me gen z you know i'm gen z um love tote bags tote bags are just so good because it can fit so much in so flower and bees what does that mean it means spring is coming i think <laughs> anyways and also number five is the tulip stitch so if you've seen the tulip stitch i think it's called the popcorn stitch and you can make a tote bag so you do like a line of white then you do the green and the you know the stitches to make it look like a tulip and then you do another white tulip another white tulip so it's kind of like a tote bag but you can see in between the tulip bits so i wouldn't put anything too kind of valuable in it just in case it goes through or just use it as like a grocery bag maybe to put i don't know fruit vegetables in i don't know um, number three, category number three is plushies. So number one is a chunky um, frog, which if you see the Pinterest board is very cute. It's very chunky, chunky boy. We love chunky boys. And then number two is a bunny with dungarees and flower in their hair. So it's got like, well not a flower, it's got like a little hat, kind of like the ones from Animal Crossing, the little pearl you know tulip hats that they've got in animal crossing uh number three is a lamb with a flower chain in the hair so flowers going all the way around that's very cute a little white lamb um number four is a flower plush or if you want to make it bigger you can make it into a cushion be cute to put on like your sofa or something or on your desk chair maybe give it a bit more colour uh, and number five is a little snail with a flower on its shell it's like really small I don't know if I'd be able to do it because I have quite shaky hands I don't know if I could deal with stuff that small but you can make it bigger even if you do have the uh, pattern you just have to use bigger yarn and a bigger hook size which is what um, Crochet by Jenna has always said so um, I like to say who I get advice from, so that's one of the things. And tulip. Category number four is flowers, because when you think of spring, what do you think of? Flowers. So, number one is tulips, they're very spring. Number two is a bouquet. You could, you know, crochet a blue bouquet for your partner, your friend, your mum, anyone. Number three is flower bunches, so instead of a bouquet, it's just like a few flowers together of the same one. Um, number four are daisies, and then number five is daffodils. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully you do these. If you do, tag me on uh, Instagram. It's Shannon Crossin. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Shannon.